Officer B.W. Hargis was the police motorcycle escort on the left rear side of the presidential limousine. After he got through uh, shaking hands and, and speaking with a few people, and we started off uh, toward town, and of course the route was well publicized, and there were just, everyone was along the street. Almost all the way from the Love Field down through town, there were so many people in the street that, that uh, the whole motorcycle section had to fall back to get in behind, in between the cars behind the Secret Service car because there wasn't any way in the world we could uh, ride up beside us many people. When we turned uh, right off of Main Street onto Elm Street, it was the first chance I'd got to, to pull up beside the limousine to my regular assigned spot was. And then we turned left, it's a real short block there between Main and Elm Street. And we turned left again I was pulling up into my position when the, the first shot was fired. We was going down into the depression that goes under the triple underpass where uh, the echo of the, the first shot was tremendous. You couldn't tell where the shot was coming from. Riding a few feet from the limousine was Dallas police outrider Bobby Hargis. There's a, another motorcycle officer by the name of Buddy Brewer that came up to me and says, Bob, you have something on your lip. And he took his finger like that. And it was a piece of the president's brain and a piece of his skull bone that had hit me on the lip. The watery blood and stuff that came from his wound was it splattered my motorcycle and all over my uniform and my helmet and my face. And <clears throat> all of us felt real bad. Every single soul in the police department felt bad. And you could tell it by just looking at them.